Oh, her eyes are so cute. Are you the girl? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Lee, and I would introduce you to this little girl right here, but she has no name. She was found in the streets in a town in South Texas and uh, was taken to a shelter. She's got some problem with her back legs. We haven't x-rayed her yet to see what's going on there, but they were gonna euthanize her in the shelter. So on Christmas day, one of the rescue ladies sent me a video of this little baby and I didn't have the heart not to take her. So we got her up here to San Antonio and we're gonna do some x-rays on her, see what's going on in her back legs. You can tell by the way she's sitting right now, that is an abnormal posture and she carries, let me see if I can lift her up gently here. She's got some fractures of some sort. You can tell she's holding this leg over here on my side. She's holding it off the ground. So there's definitely something going on either with this leg or she very likely could have a fractured pelvis too. The assumption from the shelter was that she probably got hit by a car running the streets in South Texas. So anyway, we're gonna do some diagnostics and we'll be back with the reports in just a second. That's good. All right, this is our little pup right here. We decided to name her Suede. And we can tell by looking at this film, if you look at the normal side over here, this side right here, this is the side she is carrying, the one she's limping on. There's a fracture right through there broken right through the head of the femur. This is her femur, the upper bone in the leg. This is her pelvis here. And also her pelvis is broken. These bones are all broken up in her pelvis. This is a normal pelvis right here. You can see how it is supposed to be. And she's got some fractures right there. So she's already starting to carry weight right here on this leg. So we're gonna go ahead and just fix this area right here. And with these with these fractures in her pelvis, as close as they are together, they're not displaced too badly. We're going to let Mother Nature heal those. It'll be a lot simpler than trying to go in there, make great surgical wounds, and put bone plates on all these broken pieces. So this will heal up well. Uh, we've seen many of these where we didn't do surgery on them, and they did just fine. But uh, talking about this area down here, what, we sh what we're looking at, this is a normal pelvis right here. This is a normal femur. This is a left femur. She's laying on her back for the x-ray. And you can see there's a line right through here. That used to be a growth plate. And that femur, the head fractured off of it right there. So what we will do is we'll go in here and we're gonna, this is just out here in the middle of nowhere. If you try to run a pin through there, these things commonly fail. And one of the reasons they fail, the blood supply to the head commonly is disrupted in these type fractures. But we're gonna go in here and smooth off this right here, take this piece completely out, and we're also gonna take this head out. There's a tiny ligament, and you can see a little divot in this bone right here. The ligament hooks on right there and it also hooks on back in here deep in deep in the pelvis and that tiny ligament holds it in there so we have to go back in there and cut that ligament and then take that piece of the ball out of there and that and that is just to prevent this area right here in case this lost blood supply during this accident we're not going to close everything back up to only have to go back in here later because this piece of bone died but anyway we're going to take her into surgery and get her fixed up And this is Swade's pelvis um, post-op. These little white things right here are staples in her skin. You can see where her femur has been just cleanly cut right through there. It used to look like that right there. And you can also see where the head of the femur was removed from the socket. So the body will uh, cause some scarring along this wound right here and it will mate up with this side over here and everything will scar down and this becomes what they call a pseudarthrodesis or a false joint and it will work very well the rest of her life. Well, looky here. You are feeling a whole lot better today. Yes, you are. Well, she's getting around good on that, Amy. Look at her using that leg. Sway, sway. 
Let me say, baby girl. Mm -hmm. All right. We're a few days out from surgery. And you can see she's already bearing weight on it. And previously, she was not at all. Okay, here's our little girl. And she's just doing really, really well. And she feels good. And she is full of kisses. And let's look at her leg back here where the surgery was done. The incision was made right there to go in and correct that hip to take that piece of the ball out and also smooth off that part of the femur too. And as we've seen earlier, her pelvis is still fractured. So that's going to cause um, a lot of uh, problems for a short amount of time, as is the surgery. But she is really just one of those dogs that doesn't complain much. She's just a sweet, sweet little dog. As you can see, she's just a little love bug. So she will get adopted really, really quickly. Well, folks, Wade has come a long way since Christmas when she got hit by the car. And getting the call in the middle of the night like that, I didn't have anybody to check to see if, if the bill would be covered. But I, I went on faith. I knew you guys would come through, and you surely did. So thank you so much for all your kind donations that allowed us to save this little girl because they were gonna put her to sleep on the spot if I did not say I would take care of her. Uh, she is a wonderful little dog and she will do really, really well. I took her out to the ranch last week, let her run around out there and uh, she did great for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then she started limping a little bit, but that's understandable. And as she builds up her strength, that limp will become uh, completely unnoticeable after time. But anyway, thanks again for your kind donations that allowed us to save this little girl on Christmas Day. I'm Dr. Lee, and we will see you again on Vet Ranch. Just one